video we want to cover the metastasis mechanism. In the previous video we have seen the definition of metastasis and we have also seen the roots of metastasis. Do you recollect the definition of metastasis? It is distant spread of a tumor of a neoplasia and it will be discontinuous with the it will be discontinuous with the from the first primary tumor okay that is what it is. Now the roots we saw lymphatic root lymphatic spread lymphatic spread hematogenous spread that is via blood mainly the veins and you had through body cavity and natural passages okay so this means the transcelomic uh, spread spread along epithelial epithelium line surfaces cerebrospinal fluid implantation etc now we want to look at the mechanism of spread mechanism actually has eight steps mechanism of uh, metastasis has eight steps look at these diagrams here they are taken from Harsh Mohan textbook first of all you have aggressive clone with angiogenesis the first is aggressive clone with angiogenesis. This will be your clone having angiogenesis. So you can see the new blood vessel here. So this will be the first step. Then there is loosening of these tumor cells. That is the second step. Then extracellular matrix. What you see in the yellow. There is an interaction between the tumor cells and the extracellular matrix. There is degradation of the extracellular matrix. That is step 4. Then step 5 you have entry of the tumor cells into the lumen. Step 6 is the thrombus formation. You can see the platelets which have come here. Then, then you have the extravasation of the tumor cells. That is they are exiting the tumor, uh, the lumen into a new location. Could be the liver, could be the lung, right? We have seen the locations where the vein will lead to. Then you have a metastatic tumor. Okay, form that is the step 8. Fine. Here we will put it off, put formation and growth, formation of metastasis, survival and growth of the metastatic deposit. Okay. So, what five steps did you see, uh, eight steps did you see here? Try to recollect. So, first of all, you have aggressive clonal proliferation. Angiogenesis will happen. Step two, tumor cells loosening. As you are able to see here, the tumor cells will loosen. Fine. Then step 3, tumor cell, tumor cell and extracellular matrix interaction, fine. Step 4, degradation, degradation of extracellular matrix are you able to see in the diagram degradation of extracellular matrix coming to step 5 entry of tumor cells into the lumen entry of tumor cells into lumen of blood step 6 a thrombus is formed there step 7 Step 7, let us look at step 7 now. Step 7, extra vessation of tumor cells. Extra vessation of tumor cells. Right, that is they will exit the tumor, uh, they will exit the lumen. And step 8, that is the last step. Survival and growth of the metastatic deposit. 
Now, about each of this, I will tell you some more points. Can you pay attention here? Aggressive clonal proliferation angiogenesis will happen. There are uh, formation of new blood vessels. Tumor cell loosening, this will happen because there will be loss of E. Cadhead, cadherin. E. Cadherin will be less. They will become less actually. E. Cadherin will become less and hence the tumor cells will become loose. Okay. Then moving on to the third step. Tumor cell and extracellular matrix interaction. Here what happens, the extracellular matrix proteins which are there, the extracellular matrix proteins like laminin and fibronectin, these come in, okay, these are, are the ones that interact with the cancer cells, okay. So the cancer cells are able to interact with these proteins and they have profoundness of receptors for these proteins and there is loss of loss of integrins the, the these are the transmembrane receptors okay transmembrane receptors because of this there will be interaction between the tumor cells and the extracellular matrix okay moving on to the fourth point here degradation of the extracellular matrix let's look at more points on this one. So, the tumor cells release what and all? Proteases, matrix degrading enzymes, metalloproteinases like collagenases and gelatinases and then uh, inhibitors of metalloproteinases are decreased. Okay, Metallono metalloproteinases are more. Okay. And the inhibitors of metallo proteinases are less okay so you should understand that metalloproteinases are able to increase more and more right then moving on to the next step here there is catepsin catepsin d it is also a protease protease only it is also a protease it's another protease okay it is also increased these enzyme bring about the dissolution of extra cellular matrix firstly the basement membrane of the tumor itself is broken down then the tumors uh, they make way for the tumor cells through the interstitial matrix and finally dissolve the basement membrane of the vessel wall okay so all this degradation is going to happen moving on to the fifth point here entry of tumor cells into lumen now the tumor cells have to enter the vessel blood vessel right entry of the tumor cells into lumen Find the tumors now have degraded the basement membrane of the blood vessel. They are ready to migrate into the lumen. Okay. And the following mechanisms play a role. Which are the mechanisms? Autocrine. Autocrine. Motility factor. AMF. Okay. It is a cytokine. It's derived from the tumor cells which stimulate receptor mediated motility of tumor cells. So, it is going to stimulate the motility of tumor cells. So, obviously motility factor here it's mentioned already. This is the keyword motility factor, right? Autocrine motility factor makes the tumor more motile. Then cleavage products of matrix components, cleavage products of the matrix components which are formed following degradation of extracellular matrix have properties of tumor cell chemotaxis, growth promotion and angiogenesis in the cancer. So, these cleavage products from the extracellular matrix, they themselves are going to help in the tumor cell chemotaxis, growth promotion, everything they will do for the tumor. They forgot that the tumor itself destroyed them. But there are all the products are coming and help the, helping the tumor itself. Now what happened? They have migrated through the basement membrane. These cells have entered the lumen. Okay. Now lumen of the either the lymphatic vessel or the blood vessel. Both the mechanisms will be same. This is something we should have put here. Mechanism will be same for blood vessel or lymphatic. Okay. I hope you got it. Now, let's move on to the next step here. 
Uh, the next step is thrombus formation. Then we have extravasation and survival and growth of metastatic tumor. Three more steps are there. Let us continue in the next video. Let us revise what we have done in this video. Aggressive clonal proliferation, angiogenesis we told you. Then the tumor cell will get loosened. Then it will interact with the extracellular matrix. It will degrade the extracellular matrix. Then it will enter the lumen. This much we have covered. Continue the movie in the next video. Bye.